I've been working on this chemistry-inspired tower defense game, and in the last update, we introduced a shape system that really helped to give each tower its own unique properties. Towers now have these composite effects that result in various firing patterns. For this update, the first thing you may notice is that the UI has been reworked. It still has a long way to go, but it's at least a little more organized now. The shop and inventory are on the left, and the combination menu and tower stats are on the right. Since the beginning of the game's development, a few people have left comments about organic chemistry, and I've been thinking about how to connect that to the game's current systems. But what does it mean for a compound to be organic? Organic compounds don't have a universally agreed on definition, but I'll be taking it to mean compounds with carbon-carbon or carbon-hydrogen bonds. By this definition, I already have some organic compounds in the game, such as methane, but I want to take things a step further and explore one of the coolest features of some organic structures, infinite scalability. The two kinds of structures we'll take inspiration from are lattices and polymers. The first compound we'll experiment with is graphene. Graphene is a highly durable 2D carbon lattice. Lattice here just means that there's a repeating structure, and we can see that the structure of graphene is hexagonal. The main idea for this tower type is that players should be able to indefinitely add carbon to it to create an ever-growing compound. I don't know if graphene actually forms in this pattern, but it made sense to me to have it spiral around a starting hexagon. So you can see, in order to create another hexagonal cell, four more carbon atoms are needed and the number of carbon atoms required changes based on the current state of the graphene. This compound will only be enhanced once a full hexagon can be completed, but you can spend carbon atoms from your inventory at any time to contribute to the next upgrade. Each upgrade provides a permanent damage, range, and slight fire rate boost. Different organic compounds will have different upgrade priorities. For example, the next compound, polyethylene, has high fire rate scaling and low damage and range scaling. Polyethylene is the most commonly produced plastic, and it is a type of polymer. This means it's made of a bunch of smaller composite molecules and or monomers called ethylene. Each ethylene is composed of two carbon and four hydrogen atoms. Here I have one ethylene displayed in an H shape. For gameplay reasons, I simplified things a little bit and made the upgrade only require one carbon and two hydrogen. So you sometimes end up with these kind of half ethylenes, which isn't totally accurate to actual polyethylene, but having six atoms required for an upgrade would be too much. Like graphene, this tower type can be indefinitely expanded. So it's cool to have these infinitely growable turrets, but what do they actually do? At first glance, they seem to shoot regular projectiles, but I've given them a special extra function. Through a process inspired by grafting, you can bind these compounds to any other turret of your choice, and the organic compound will keep its damage and range while inheriting the firing pattern of that turret. So whether you want a rapid-fire acid shotgun or a long-range explosive launcher, any combination is now possible. The only drawback to grafting, apart from its cost, is that the targeted compound is disabled while grafted to the organic compound. The main motivation for this kind of tower is to provide late-game scaling and to allow the player to support their favorite turret type. As it's currently designed, you can only have one of these special organic compounds active per map. Right now, only graphene and polyethylene are part of the game, so you choose if you want a more sniper-type compound or a close-range rapid-fire turret. But in the future, I plan to add a few more options with properties like better explosive or poison scaling, for example. Also, these compounds don't yet expand on every turret type perfectly, like it could still have better interactions with phosphorus or fluorine scaling, and that's something I'll improve as well. While playtesting, I noticed that it was a bit tedious to manually upgrade the organic compounds because it takes a ton of shop re-rolling. To combat this, I added an auto-upgrade feature that does the re-rolling for you. Check it out. This does burn through money super fast, so be careful with toggling it on. I've seen that quite a few players have made it past Infinite Level 20, which was when the last major difficulty spike happened. So, to support these new infinite turret types, 
I've also added a new enemy that will gain better stats each round, starting on infinite level 25. I haven't done extensive testing yet, but it should get to the point where you definitely lose and don't just have to wait for your game to crash for the run to end. I also felt like it was thematically appropriate to add a new map at this point, so here's a new pathing layout. I'll be remaking the maps in the future, but it's nice to have a change of scenery for the time being. One other highly requested feature that I've added is the ability to move towers. Once per wave, you can relocate a turret of your choice at no cost. I think this has been a really nice quality of life change. This is the final public update I have planned for Chemist Tower before full release on Steam. But if you'd like to have a closer look at the development cycle, please consider joining my Patreon. All members get Discord access, and I'll also be releasing early access builds to members for playtesting. Also, if you join the $10 tier, you'll receive a free copy of Chemist Tower on launch in addition to all other Patreon member benefits. I'll likely still release another video or two on YouTube at some point for major development milestones. Thank you all for watching the video and supporting the channel, and thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Until next time.